This is a teardown of a TP-Link TL-WR841N 300 megahertz, 300 megahertz, yeah, 300 megabits per second wireless in router. And I jokingly like to call these toilet paper link. It's not my fault they named themselves TP. Don't even know what it stands for. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can figure out how to get these uh, stickers off the bottom. Get the screws. This feels very light, so I'm guessing most of the weight is the housing. Alright. Let's see what we need. It's, looks like number one Phillips. Long. Two screws. Nope, don't feel anything on the label other than maybe the injection hold point. Well, got to bounce off the floor. <laughs> oh. Snap together, but I don't feel like doing it the right way. Huh. Just curious what this cover is all. Oh, I don't have safety glasses on me. Looks like everything around this bit here is a uh, inlay in the top cover. Interesting. Soldered on antenna wires. Not too surprised at this price point. Oops. Oh well, this is going to stand there. Kind of fun how they have all these old school through hole LEDs like that, just bent. Although, man, that must be hell to line up in, in assembly. I don't know how they uh, align that. Because I'm assuming when they put this together, how does this line up? That board's already there. And they just slapped this down on top. Huh. <laughs> Must be uh, cheaper than doing light pipes, though. Got a frosted white LED there. I wonder what color that is. I might actually end up saving this for the LEDs. Wish I had a PCB cutter. Just cut them all off. Although, I mean, the leads are still long enough. I could just cut them along top and save them. Not that I'll ever do anything with them. But anyways, back to the topic. <laughs> Got a potentially a BIOS chip there. Wind bond. Get the right side up. Wind bond. There we go. Pretty hard to read. Might have to zoom in a little. Camera kind of is a pain sometimes. Well, hopefully, I can get a good frame out of that because I can't hold still enough. <laughs> Hands are way too shaky, apparently. Whoa, not 3X. And we got a MediaTek controller chip. Yeah, I'm guessing that ESMT is probably flash storage for the uh, operating system. A little bit of power regulation and passes around there. It's interesting with these newer wireless access points, they don't have metal cans over the wireless, uh, wherever the more part of this is doing the wireless. So, yeah, it's kind of weird how they've... Uh, gotten away from all the shielding they used to do. I don't know if it's because of how the output power works or if there's some other thing going on. But, uh, yeah, interesting. Extra long antennas. <laughs> antennas for days. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.